Hi, this is Sandy Rusner at Sandy's Palette, and I just wanted to do a quick flip through of a journal. Uh, spring uh, was the theme. It was for a swap. So I'm just going to do a quick flip through for everybody. Uh, this is the cover, and I'm going to bring it up so you can see. It's uh, Spring is a heart full of hope and a shoe full of rain. Um, hopefully I can get all this in screen. Um, and then there's lace around the cover and the back and some parts it's going to be probably because uh, I did some um, like glossy accents and embellishing and sometimes the uh, light reflects off it oh there you can see some of it there um, but if I put the uh, flashlight or the flash on the camera on it causes too much of a glare so and, and the butterfly itself as you can see is a little embossed there Okay, so I'm going to open up the journal, and I'll do a quick, quick flip through. Um, so this is the uh, inside cover, and there's just some tags and journaling cards. Uh, all the journaling cards are and tags are bla blank on the back. Um, then there's this page here. Hopefully this is in focus. And this is a large journaling card with a tuck spot here and then there's a pocket with another journaling card I'm try not to go into too much detail with it um, here is an envelope window pocket with a journaling card and then a um, pa paper sack and inside there is a uh, note uh, I'm sorry a uh, paper uh, vintage style paper it's not real vintage um, and then here I just left this blank for her to journal on but there is another pocket here um, that goes on this oh sorry that's part of this one here um, this here has a tuck with a sorry journal card and I'm also going to bring this up because I did some detailing I don't know if you'll be able to see it real well on the flower centers I used um, some stickles and some nouveau dots and then a doily and then there's a, a journaling page which I did a did some stamping I did stamping on all the journaling pages uh, this is some washi tape up here again it's just small it's in the corner there's uh, several journaling pages there then here is uh, kind of represents Easter and it has a lace flip for journaling there and it also has a slide out pocket with a journaling card there's two signatures in this by the way and then here is um, pansies with room for journaling and then here I made a um, kind of like a little uh, book but it is sewn into the signature so it has a tag in here and uh, this was a napkin that I decoupaged on and then made a pocket out of it and then these are all the journaling pages. I did a little decorating here and there on them just to give some interest. And then on, on the back, I also did the same with a journal card and um, a decoupage napkin um, that I uh, made a pocket out of. Um, here, again, is a, another journaling card. And then um, here on this page... So there's a tag here in the front pocket. This flips open. There's another pocket with a tag. There's a little tuck spot here. And then, of course, I have a, a little journal card back here. You can see that. And then in, to the left here, um, I uh, attach some papers for journaling. So it's kind of like a fold-out... Um, I don't know uh, <laughs> journal spot thank you <laughs> things aren't coming to me too quick today uh, and again just some uh, uh, journaling pages washi tape and some stamps and stuff on it and uh, there's the other doily and then here is um, <clears throat> excuse me a uh, little pocket uh, I, I don't know specifically what it's called it's not quite a coin envelope 
but it is um, it folds open and then there's lots of ephemera that I put in there for the receiver and then uh, this of course just ties back up and there we go and then there again is the same with a, a piece of writing paper or you can put photos in there okay so um, this is a belly band so first what I'm going to do is show you the what's behind the belly band and it is a um, <clears throat> it's a uh, it's a journaling card per se uh, this folds out so there's room for journaling here and here okay then this flips up and you have two another tuck spot here with two cards in it and this also folds out for journaling so you have lots of journaling space here and here inside in the flap along with the tags and then again on the front this folds out right and um, you have a pocket here with two more tags in it so that's the insert for it um, on the side here of course uh, is a uh, I did a journaling card for a tuck spot pocket in here now the belly band itself I just so and hopefully the recipient will understand and know how to use it so there's um, it folds out it's magnetic I made this one magnetic it folds out and you have three tall tags in little pockets here and then it also folds this way so you have journaling space okay and so it, and just be conscientious when you do these type of things it does make for a chunky album so uh, yeah I had to cut back on doing those kind of things um, and here's another uh, kind of flip out I do have it with a small paper clip because it will flop open um, when you're going through it. So there's these two little envelopes that I made out of paper, uh, paper, book page and they each have little cards in them, okay? So there's those and same down here. And then behind them, I left them for a tuck spot for tags. Okay, so they each have a tag and then here is a tag also there then this flips open and I have two spots for journaling and then again you don't have to but I try to get as much real estate that I can I um, just glued down the three sides to make um, a pocket um, and have another journaling card tucked in there okay then on this page let me move my book over a little bit. <clears throat> um, there's a, another pocket with vel a vellum, made from vellum, uh, with a tag in it. Sorry, I'm rushing. I just uh, want to make sure I don't go over and my camera die on me. I might make sure it's still recording. Yes, it looks like it is. Okay. So there's a journal spot here, two more tags here, and then I made this a tuck spot and added uh, a journaling card there as well and then here which this is actually a fold over okay uh, created two pockets for journaling cards there and for there and then here is just some writing space and then here again lots of writing space I didn't uh, you know sometimes I don't like to cover up the paper there's lots of room for um, you know, journaling there along with the doily. And then here again, two different style pockets with uh, journaling cards. And then, you know, certainly room to add other things. And then here's an envelope. Again, it's a window pocket with the tag, but I made a, fl a flap on it. Um, and then I, again, on this... Uh, a plain page I, for journaling I just added a border to it and then just stamped up here um, these ones um, this is vellum that is the same as the paper piece that I made the card with so when you tuck it up it lines up with that okay and here's just a, a general pocket with some tags and journaling cards and a postcard 
uh, that I uh, threw in there. And then here again is the vellum with the matching paper journal card behind it. Um, here again is a tuck spot um, with a tag. And then I um, put a journaling card in there. Um, here is a glassine bag that I decorated and added a journaling card to. Um, here are one of my um, clips that I make. Um, I can't remember who I originally saw this idea from. Um, but yeah, it's a, a tuck spot and um, kind of like a clip, or uh, sorry, a clip. So there's journaling space there. And then this is a little booklet that I made. Um, just pull that out from this tab. Opens up. You have a pocket here. And then I made another pocket here. I glued on uh, some flowers and a tag there. A vellum sheet here, page here that I made. And then again, writing space here. And then flips up and you have a lot of this writing space. Okay. I am going to try on my channel to get um, show how to make these. So just haven't had time yet. And then again here, you can tuck something on. This is the back of that clip. Um, and you can certainly tuck things in. Um, here again, it's just washi tape, trying to decorate the plain pages for writing. This again, this is the Tim Holtz tissue paper. And I decoupaged that on and wrapped it around the page. So there's two pockets there. And then, of course, I um, put journaling cards in those pockets. Okay. Um... And again, this is just a, a pocket with a journaling card. Okay, um, now I'm, I am going to give the recipient a gold pen so she can, I don't know, she'll have a white one or not, but I wanted to give her something uh, for the darker brown pages or to write in the whole journal if she likes. Um, but here is a, a four tuck, um, I used music, sheet music, but you can use a book page, whatever you want. Um, but there's four pockets here. And I'm just going to take them out so I can show you the pocket itself. These are all the journal cards. And then after I did the folds, I um, used the Nouveau dots and decorated around the edges. So hopefully you can, can see the detail on that. And then in here, um, I was reluctant because, you know, there's lots of writing space here. But I did want to add something but not take away from the journaling um, space so this is a little tuck it folds out like this and then it folds down so you can write in here and of course on the side there and then it just tucks back in uh, this side does the same thing and then I also you probably can't see I did a lot of the glossy accenting on the birds and the flowers and the eggs and stuff like that to give it dimension so I, I don't know if the camera will pick up on that, but if I have the light on, it just shines and is blinding, so it, it really doesn't help. On the back, I did the same thing. I made a four-pocket um, uh, four pocket space with my tags, sorry, um, and made the tags in it, but I also went around with the Nouveau Dots. Um, and then this place pieces off for journaling. Um, then again, just a pocket with a journaling tag. Um, okay, so this piece here, um, you can either use a paper bag or I have some of the brown, um, it's really thin, like baker's um, paper. Um, anyway, this is the flip. Uh, well, first of all, I only glued down the three sides, so I had a journaling tuck spot there. And then when I attach the, um, the flip or the... Part to, to flip it up I left that open so I could tuck a little tag in there and then inside I, I doubled it so that I have, would have two spots for journaling uh, here is a library card pocket I just tucked um, in front or glued in front of a um, <clears throat> pocket for uh, a tag um, see if there's anything else in here I don't know that's kind of different. Um, 
Oh, okay, so again, here's the glassine, the other part of the glassine bag that I decorated. Okay, and then here is a three, um, three either tag or journal, uh, journal card holders. Um, so they're pockets, um, so they go like that, and then they alternate like that, and then the bottom one like that. Okay, and this is really great for when you ever have those pieces that are just not long enough to do a double double page, but you you know you got one page and you want to include it, but you got like a little bit that would only be a small part, and you don't kind of know what to do with it other than just attach a piece of paper to it. This is perfect for those kind of um, pieces um, that you can uh, make easily make that. And I'll, I'll try to do a tutorial on that as well if, if you guys are interested. Uh, just another pocket with um, some tags and journal cards. And then, oh yeah, this is the journal card again. The vellum with the matching paper um, on the other side. Um, oh, okay, so here's an over-the-page um, flip or flap. <laughs> uh, there's a little pocket in front with some tickets and then a uh, pocket here um, for a tag and another little, um, it's going to slip down. Anyway, just another little journaling card. Okay, and then that flips up. You can journal on the back here and journal on the page. This does slide because again, it is an over the page flap. It's not secure. You can move it around. On the other side, I just took different pieces of uh, paper, tore some of them on the edge ends, and just made a paper pad for uh, journaling, as well as you can obviously journal on the page itself. Um, here again, just another pocket. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, it's got glitter inside. It's a puffy uh, sticker um, with a journaling card. And again, same thing with this. I didn't want to, there's lots of journaling space, but um, I didn't want to cover up too much of the paper, just left that as it was. Um, here again is the other part of that lined paper. Uh, it does have some uh, scribbling or uh, doodling on it, um, but it does have the line so you can write on it. Here's just a regular side tuck with a journal card. Um, then back here, just a regular pocket, again, the uh, journal card and then uh, here again is just a lace pocket in the back with a tag and some journal pieces and then of course there's the back cover so that's the quick flip through hope you enjoyed it I hope the receiver enjoys it and um, like I said I'll, I'll try to do some tutorials on my YouTube channel channel um, so that you can see those okay thanks so much and everyone have a great day